What's new guys? Never ran to bank teller. Poor Shane, black customer, instantly regrets it by Garman. So let's get this bonus started. Hey guys, I'm super excited for you to watch today's video, but first I wanted to let you know some really exciting news that the Darman Studios behind the scenes YouTube channel is officially live. I've been asking you guys what you want to see more of and I've been reading in the comments and everyone's like, they want to meet the cast, they want to meet the crew, they want to see what happens behind the scenes. So now you can experience all of that through our new YouTube channel. Go ahead and check it out. The link is down in the description. Plus. I'm gonna be doing some really awesome giveaways for those that subscribe so you don't want to miss it Let's go ahead and start today's video. Oh I see you work at DM Capital They're one of our biggest clients. Yes. Would you like to see my driver's license? Oh, no, don't worry about it. There you go. Have a nice day Good afternoon, I'd like to make a deposit Oh, um, this is for business clientele. The regular line is out there. I'm in the right spot. <laughs> I just let. Yeah, she tried to lie. Tim the Lowes in a different spot. She not sleep. Oh, where on earth did you? He get worked this for it. Cash? How was with you? Rob a bank. Look. Before we go any further, I need to see some ID. Why do you need to see his ID for, ma'am? Is this real? Yeah, he gave it to you. Of course, he'll be known. Spending me. I need to see another form of ID. Another form of ID? Why? This is the first time I've ever been asked that. Well, according to bank rules, I have the right to ask if I suspect any suspicious activity. Suspicious activity. So she wants to see another form of ID no, what, for no, suspicious no. activity. This is my college ID. That's work. Stanford? Yeah, he went to Stanford. Really it's his own car, doesn't it? He went to Stanford. This is a fake ID. Wow, she now, said it was fake, bro. Because you didn't go to Stanford, and that's a good school. That means it's a fake card or ID. Oh, you want to be a smart guy. Mary, can you come in here, please? Now she's calling another person in. Does this look real to you? Uh, yeah, yeah, it looks real, duh. Definitely real. Okay, thanks. She thought that girl Mary was gonna agree. Okay. With her. Oh. Uh -uh. I like to deposit this too. Twenty thousand dollars. Seriously, what are you doing with this kind of money? He worked for it's it, not any of and it's none of your business. This is from DM Capital. You really expect me to believe that you work there? This is a fraudulent check. That was a check, fake check. Isn't it? You're more than welcome to call the company and confirm yourself. God, you probably don't even have a real job. Why don't I call security instead? Why are you going to call security? You know what? I had enough of this. Just give me my cash and check so I can go. Security! She looks like a Karen. Is everything okay? No, it's not. This man gave me a fake ID, lied about his job, and now he's trying to deposit a fraudulent check. No, he check. did not. More like she's stereotyping me while I'm just trying to make a simple transaction. Oh, you people are so typical. Always using race as your get out of jail free card. I know a crook when I see one. You know, everything that you just said could not be further from the truth. You see, you said I didn't go to college. But the truth is, not only did I go to one of the most prestigious schools in the country, I also graduated at the top of my class. I even started my own little company after graduation. And over time, that little company turned into a really big company. And now it's one of the most successful financial institutions in our city today. So you see, Never judge a book by its cover. Facts. Never judge a book by its cover. I'm not only an employee for DM Capital. I'm the CEO. <laughs> you expect for us to believe that. Get him out of here. You can tell he's a liar. What if he's telling the truth? Maybe you should call the number of the company just to be sure. Okay. Fine. 
Hi, yeah, this is Her name is Karen. <laughs> I have someone here who's trying to cash a fraudulent check. Can you transfer me to the owner, please? Thanks. You see? They're calling me. So wait, he was the CEO of the bank? I understand. Or, or, or wherever he got the check from or whatever? John, good to see you. Sir, you know this guy? Yes, this is Daniel. Daniel Moore, owner of DM Capital. Our biggest client. This guy is our biggest client. Yes. Oh, that just is backfired on her. No, John. Everything is not okay. You see, Karen here just stereotyped me because of the way that I... That's tough. That's what she get. You Karen, what? that's what you get. I mean, can you blame me? Just look at him. You should know better than to ever judge a Hope book by she, its cover. Hope she gets fired. Mr. Moore, I am so sorry. I assure you this will never happen again. Because Karen here is fired. Yes, sir. What? Yeah, you heard her. You, you heard fired? her. You're fired. No, you can't do that. I just did. We make no, sure get out of here. Things. Mr. Moore, I would love to assist you in my private office. Please follow me. Thank you. I'm innocent. He didn't do it. I know he didn't. I put that thing I trust to do, and he's. Daddy loves you so much. What if he's telling?